in the next case instead of this uh, box property first of all let's copy it let's copy this individual image here and instead of box 2 we are applying the same thing here and the same thing goes for this box 3. Now if we press Ctrl S and get back to our project and reload we can see that this will be the result all of those child boxes all of these child boxes those are practically holding the same image inside it. Now the next thing is we are first of all applying some kind of hover properties into these individual boxes right over here. Now all we are about to do let's have a check first of all about the properties those being imposed over here. So if we select any one of those boxes we can see that this is the div which is practically holding this individual fox image here. It is using a class of width 48, w48 and it is having a width of 12 rem. It is having a padding left property of 0.75 rem each in this extreme left and right condition and for padding top it goes to 0.75 rem. This is the same. It is having an inline block property here and it is having a background color of gray. So everything has been present right over here. Now all those boxes are residing side by side. So we will now apply some kind of hovering elements into these individual boxes to see the immediate result. In that case, if we get back to our text editor and in the first case, all we need to do, we need to mention about this transform property. And the transform property First of all, it goes to corset scale 0. Now if we put this one, we can see that nothing will be seen as we have mentioned that this individual scaling will be 0. So we need to make it a little bit larger here. We are using this class of 50. In the next case, if we need to apply some kind of hovering property into our element, then all we need to do, we need to mention this hover and we need to mention this scale 75 or for say 100. Press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload and now you can see that the box on being hovered is now practically getting enhanced in dimension both along x-axis and along y-axis but you can change it anytime you want if you wish that the scaling will be done only via this x-axis then it could be arranged reload and you can see that this will be the result similar thing goes for this y property here reload and you can see that this will be the result but in this case we would like to restrict ourselves with the magnification along both the axis that means both in the x axis and in the y axis reload and we can see that this will be the result 